Hello, we are live. So I've just come on a minute ago earlier so that people can tune in. So let me move this over slightly. Cool. <coughs> so, hello. Hey. Okay, see a few people are joining in now. Let's see the time here. before we're going to start but i'm going to get kyla to pin um what we will need in the comments she's just joined hi kyla um we will need a chair because we're going to be doing some hip thrusts and apart from that um you won't need anything else um if you do want you can use an option optional band so something like these if you have one if you don't it's really not necessary oh okay I know why, because my microphone's at the bottom of the phone. This is really annoying. Let me try. Oh, okay. Well, I can't turn my phone whilst recording. One second. Who, why would you put the microphone at the bottom of the phone? Um, yeah, it's better because I picked my phone up, but I can't keep it up the whole time. <laughs> Um, okay, tell me if you can hear me, because I literally can't do anything else, because if you tip my phone, it says that it won't record, and my microphone's on the bottom of the phone. So, okay, cool, all right, so I'm going to get started in a second, so yeah, you'll need an optional band, um, I may, ooh. I may or may not use these, so we'll see how I get on. Um, this is going to have to be that way a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to crack on. Oh, and an optional weight. So if you have any kind of weight, I do have a kettlebell, but you can just pick something heavy up if you, if you want. Um, okay, so we've been doing a few Tabatas lately, and we decided to do a Tabata again today just because... It kind of helps it go faster. We can work really hard for a short amount of time and still get good benefits from it. So for those of you who have been with us, you'll know what Tabata is. If you're new and you're just jumping in on our workouts now and you don't know what it is, it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest for eight rounds. So it will be each round will be four minutes in total. And we're going to we're going to alternate two exercises in that round. So you'll be performing two exercises four times each alternating. And then we're going to take a little break. I'll explain the next exercises and then we'll go again. So there's going to be five in total. Uh, so if we are ready, I'm just going to get uh, us warmed up. So I'm going to put music on quietly because of copyright reasons. And then the Tabata should be able to turn up a little bit. So we're just going to jump straight into some... Um, exercises that are going to bring your heart rate up today so we're going to start with a jog <clears throat> you're going to try to slowly bring those knees up a little bit each time so start off normal as you feel yourself getting a little bit warmer you can bring them a little bit higher we're just going to go for about 30 seconds here i'm actually warm already Whew. now bring those knees up Okay, lasted 30 seconds. Keep going. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go into some air squats. So focus on your, your form, okay? So keep that chest up, knees follow the toes, core engaged, squeeze the glutes at the top, push the knees out. So just nice and slow to start. We're only warming up. 20 seconds more. Hope everyone's doing okay. 
it's Easter weekend. It'll be one month in lockdown now. Can you guys believe it? Three, two, one. From there, we're gonna go down into a high clap. So come down to the floor. Shoulders directly over the elbows and the wrist. Glutes engage. Spread those shoulder blades back. Push through the floor. Pull your, your, your belly button in. And squeeze those legs together. So that the legs are working as well. Helping the core. 15 seconds more here. Let's keep going. And then we're going to repeat from the top, from the jog. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back into that jog. Keep going. I'm just going to check the comments. Hi, yes. If you've just joined, just jump straight in. We're only warming up. So now we can take those knees a bit higher. Our joints should start to feel a little bit more mobile now. And lubricated. Who are you looking at? Okay, 15 seconds more. When we go into the squats, we can speed it up a little bit as well now. Five, four, three, two, one. Into those squats a little bit faster. Oh my god, I got sunburned yesterday. And this is burning my thighs every time I squat. <laughs> I'm going to turn sideways on. Try to break parallel every time you squat. If you advance, do an exercise in for a while. You should be doing this now in your squats. So if you're new to squatting, then I'll let you off. But you're trying to at least get those thighs parallel, hamstrings, thighs parallel with the knees every time. Five, four, three, two, one more. And then down into that plank. So this is the last one. Like I said before, shoulders over the wrist. Push through the floor. If you're trying to push the floor away from you, make sure your head's in line. Broaden those shoulders. Pull that belly button back to make sure the core's engaged. Squeeze the glutes together. Hug the inner thighs together. So you can feel tension throughout the whole body. Ten more seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so a quick mobility stretch. I'm going to jump straight into the Tabata. I'm going to get a little bit of water. So take this time to have a little drink if you need to. Okay, so catch your breath back. From here, we're going to come down into a squat hold. And from there, pushing the knees out. I want you to try to bring your arms up. Make sure those knees aren't caving in, okay? Squeeze them out. Follow the line of your toes. Keep that chest up. No rounded backs, okay? So bring those shoulders back. Arms extended. You're going to hold. Stay here. Keep holding. Squeeze. Try to get those arms back behind your head. Ten more seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two and stand up, shake those legs out. We're gonna go into some Kozik squats. So, take a wide stance. We're gonna start with the feet facing forward. So both feet, none turned out, both forward, okay? We're gonna to try to stay as low as possible. So weight comes over to the side. I don't know which side, I'm gonna say my left. And you're gonna bring it to the other. Back and forth, nice and slow. Try to control it if you have to. Come up in between each one and back down. Try to open the hips up. Nice control, really important. Five seconds more. Three, two, one. Back up, shake the legs off. <clears throat> From there, we're gonna go into some good mornings, okay? So, oh my God, I'm really out of breath. What is wrong with me? So, shoulders pulling back. Don't want to see any rounded backs, okay? Let me turn this down a little bit. 
pull that stomach in and from there keeping your legs straight with a slight bend in the knees you're going to hinge forwards until you feel a nice little pull on the hamstrings when you can't go down anymore without bending your back you're going to snap those hips up squeeze the glutes and go for another rep so really important pulling those shoulders back drawing that belly button in keeping that head in line okay don't want to see this the head stays in line with the back warming up those hamstrings I'm going to go for five more reps then we're going to get started with the Tabata four three two more and one okay so I'm going to explain the first round of Tabata now so uh, take a little rest have a drink Now's the time because you're not going to get the chance to have a drink in the Tabata because you should be working full out. So the first exercise is I'm going to load the quads, okay? So um, we're going to do elevated, um, feet elevated squats. So we're going to lift our heels off the floor. I am going to use a step to put underneath my heels. Um, if you have something similar that you can put underneath your heels better so that you can press against them. But if not, just really control the movement. Keep those heels up. And I don't want to see up and down like this, okay? If you haven't got support. So really just try to control it. Down and up. Down and up. However, I'm going to use my step here. I'm going to prop my heels up there. And I'm going to squat like so, okay? This is putting all the tension on the quads. Next exercise. I'm going to put down this blanket because I have sunnies. <laughs> And we're going to go for kneeling leg extension. So from there, we come to a kneeling position on the ground. Keeping our glutes squeezed nice and tight. And you want to keep a straight line down from the knees all the way up to the chest. Okay, keep your hands out forward. You're going to come back as much as possible. And then you're going to explode back up. So nice and slow. And control down. And then back up. See this line that I have going from my knees up to my chest? Keeping that straight, okay? Hips nice and extended. Okay, so that's the two exercises. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, alternating. Are we ready? I'm gonna put the music on. Tabata. Any questions, drop them in the, the comments now. While we're waiting for the music. Okay, none. We're gonna start with the squats, okay? I know it's a little bit difficult for you to see, but then I'll be moving forward after. Okay, three, two. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Squats, heels are elevated. Pause tight, the back, stay straight, shoulders coming back. Bring those arms forwards. Core tight, okay? My core is on fire right now. It's really working. Okay, rest. Come into your knees. Okay, glutes tight. Squeeze the legs together. Come back. Snap up. Woo. Not like that. I'm going to try to lean back as much as possible. Before coming back up, keep the core working. Quad should be firing up by now. Okay, standing up. 10 seconds rest. Come back to that heel elevated squat position. Two, one, let's go. Good. We're just getting started, guys. If you just joined, one more quick lean and jump straight in. My quads are really starting to burn now. And rest. Back to the floor, into that kneeling position. Hips extended, core tight, core glutes tight. Core and glutes tight. Down and up. It looks like nothing but really, really, really working my quads now. Four, three, two, one. Shake those legs. 
hands out. We're halfway through the first round. We're gonna come back to that position. Heels lifted. I'll do it without the step for the purpose of this video. So, down and up. I have really bad balance. Good, guys. So core is really important in this to keep the balance. Just keep squeezing nice and tight. Just don't lose that form just because your he heels are off the floor. Back down. Into the knee and leg extensions. And up. That's it. Look forward, guys. I'm just looking at the video just to check. Again, any comments coming through? Squeeze through the glutes and rest there. Last round, one more round. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the step. Heels are lifted, core's engaged, knees are following the toes. My quads are feeling super nice and tight now. Like rock solid. It should be burning. Nice big deep breaths. Two, one, and rest there. Last one. Knees together. Glutes squeezed. Core tight. We're going to lean back. Keeping that nice long line down from the knees all the way up to the chest. Oh, God. And back up. Keep going. Two, one, and rest there. Okay. Short break. Get a quick drink. We can get rid of the blanket or whatever now. We're going to move on to the rear chain. So. Oh my God, I needed that drink. This is where you'll need your chair. So I'm going to place the chair here. I'm just going to move this around now. I don't need that doorway because the lighting's just a little bit better. So we're going to be working on hip thrusts. Oops. This is why you'll need your chair and sumo squats. So I'm going to be changing the tempo up a little bit each time on the sumo squats just to change it up. So please listen out for that. Some will be normal reps. Some will be slower reps. So listen out for that. We're going to start with a sumo squat. So just quickly, we're going to take a wide stance like a sumo wrestler. Toes are pointing out. You'll be able to see here. And the knees follow the line of the toes. We're going to come down, break parallel there, as you can see. And as you come up, you're going to squeeze the glutes. You should feel some nice tension going on through the glutes there. Core tight, same as any squat. No rounded back. Shoulders pulled back, chest forward. From there, we're going to go on to hip thrusts. You can use a band here as well in either of these exercises. Might be a little bit difficult in the sumo squats if you have a really tight band, but go for it. From there, we're gonna go for normal hip thrusts. So, your back is gonna be rested on the chair, just underneath the shoulder blades or your bra strap. You're gonna keep that chin tucked at all times, okay? None of this. Chin tucked and you're gonna think of shortening the length between your rib cage and your hips. As you come down, you're going to squeeze the glutes together at the top, keep that chin tucked, shorten the length, and then explode back up. The tension you feel for your glutes there, you're going to try to hold on to as you lower down to the floor and drive it back up. So, are we ready to go? <clears throat> and I think that's the yes. I'm going to move this back and do the sumo squats closer so I don't have to keep fiddling around. Are we ready? Are you ready? So, we'll go for some nice reps in the first round of the sumo squat. So, up and down. Push those knees out. Make sure they're not caving in. I'll show you sideways on. My core's engaged. Going for speed now. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Three, two, one, rest. Get straight into position, otherwise you're not gonna have time. I'm gonna go for those glute bridges. By all means, if this is easy, lift one leg and keep alternating each round. 
squats now. <clears throat> We're going to go really slow down and explode up. I want you to squeeze those legs out. Push the heels into the ground. Really resist. This is almost hurting more than the slow ones because I'm really trying to resist. If you've ever done ballet and you've done plies, I'm talking that kind of same movement. Squeeze down and resist. Rest. Back into those hip thrusts. Again, same tempo. We're going to control it down and explode up. So, up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep going, keep that chin tucked at all times. Don't forget, find a point on the wall in front of you and focus on that point. And don't take your eyes off it. Okay, back into reps. So, some nice, fast sumo squats now. Don't lose your form. Let's go. Down and up. Don't forget the squeeze at the top. Push those knees out over the toes. Sideways on again. Core nice and tight. Shoulders pulled back. Chest nice and proud. Use the arms if you need to. Back into normal hip thrusts. Now, if you want to try to lift one leg this time, you can. This is just putting more weight onto the other leg. But if you do this, remember next time what leg you use, okay? If you want to do normal ones, by all means, go for it. And press there. Okay, slow sumo squats now, really resist. I want you to push those heels into the ground. Squeeze all your muscles out. My glutes are on fire, my quads are on fire. Make sure you're coming down low. The tension through the glutes at the top. I'm sweating, so should you. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the other leg now. If you did the same before as me, switch legs. Now I'll just continue with the double ones. Chin tucked. I'm still looking at the same point on the line. The space between my ribs and my hips is as sharp as possible. Three, two, one. And rest. I am dripping. Oh my god. So. Take that chair away. Are you ready? Have a quick drink. We're going to move on to hamstrings now. So, really, really simple. Um, we're just going to do alternate deadlifts. I'll show you really quick. So, from here, you're going to hinge, you're going to lift one leg off the floor. And you're going to hinge your hips forward until that leg more or less comes in line with your body and you're going to explode up. Now, it's harder if you keep the feet, the foot off the floor. So if you're used to doing this, try to keep that foot elevated the whole time. If not, you might struggle with your balance. So really grip and ground your feet into the floor and every rep, oh my God, I'm shaking so my balance is everywhere. Every rep, you can come back up. Now, if you want to add a band, for this, just help with the balance, but you might feel a little bit more of a burn in the glutes. I'm gonna add a band for the first half and then I'm gonna take it off, okay? So work on, um, we're gonna work on going down slow and exploding back up, okay? Are we ready? Oh, did I say, sorry, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here, but we're swapping legs each time. So it's just one exercise. We're gonna go right, left, right, left, so on. Let's go. Let me pick a song. <clears throat> 
Not that one. Uh, sorry, technical problem. Right, we ready? I'm gonna start with my right leg. Start with whatever leg you want, I don't care. Three, two, one, keep that chest up and snap back up. You might think of hugging those thighs together. It will help with the balance. Pull that belly button back. Make sure your abs aren't falling. Draw it in. And make sure that back is not rounding, okay? Other leg. So none of this. Always this, unless we ever say so. So switch legs now. If you don't have a band and are struggling with the balance, like I said, Squeeze those inner thighs together, it's going to help. And try to get that back leg up, squeeze the glute. If you can straighten the leg, think about that as well. I'm switching back to the other side now. I'm going to do two more with the band and then I'm going to do the rest without. normal. Go at your own speed. If you need to go a little bit slower, that's good. It's all about control as well. Three, two, one, let's go. Leg comes up. Shoulders back. Belly button in. I'm trying to lift that leg nice and high, hugging the inner thighs in. Squeezing through the glutes. It's just your support and legs should be really working. Three, two, one, rest. I'm going to take the band off. I'm going to do the rest without, God help me, for my balance. Halfway through. Three, two, one, let's go. So now I'm really pushing my supporting heel into the ground. Should have been doing this anyway. Hugging my inner thighs together. Core is really working to keep this balance. Keep it going, and rest, switch over. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Get that left, left, get that leg up. God, I can't talk. Woo. This is my bad side. Try to think of everything I've been talking about. And stay focused. Shoulders back. Chest forward. Should be feeling a stretch down your hamstrings as well. That's normal. Last set, one each side. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna work on going slow down this time. I'm gonna try to keep that foot off the floor. Takes concentration, for me anyway. And rest. Last one. Are we ready? Finding the support on that leg. Shifting the weight over. Trying to keep that leg up now if you've got a hand of it. Think of the core, the shoulders, the supporting leg, squeezing the thighs. I keep saying it, but I need to keep reminding you. Three. Two, one, and rest. Okay, so we've got. We have got. Just two more rounds, okay? So eight minutes of work in total. Three, two, one, Okay, so quick drink. Sorry for my sweat. Anyway, we're gonna do a sumo squat hold. So we're gonna stay in this position. We already spoke about the sumo squat, so I don't really wanna go into that much more and waste any time, but we're gonna hold it nice and low. You're gonna squeeze those glutes, make sure they're turned on. Push the knees out, okay? We're not resting down here. <clears throat> Keeping everything engaged, okay? So if, if, if you feel like you're resting in this position, 
so you're probably not working okay so shoulders back chest up glutes on knees pushed out and then from there we're going to stand up and we're going to do explosive squat jumps with a slow eccentric down so that means we're going to explode up slow down explode up slow down we should get at least five reps in per round so i'm going to go straight in when you land in those jump squats make sure your heels are do the weights in the heels and they're not popping up as you squat down okay are we ready okay oh sorry one sec nope we're not started something weird going on with this remote Okay, so starting with that squat hold to get the legs fired up if they're not already. I'm going to stand back. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, knees are driving out. I'm squeezing my glutes hard. I'm going to show you sideways on. Stomach's pulled in. And rest, shake those legs off quick so we're going to straight into those jumps. I'm going to struggle to talk in this round, I can tell. Four, three, two, one, slow down, fire up, big jumps. Let's go. So you down. Exploding back up, shake the legs. Mine are burning. Three more rounds of each. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice big deep breaths, try to stay focused. This round's gonna hurt. Chest up, straight back, core engaged. Shake the legs. Quick. We're going to start from the squat, okay? So stand with a jump. Four, three, two, one. Fire up. Good, guys. Let me know how you're getting on with the next break. Oh, my God. Keep holding tight. I know this is killing, but we're nearly towards the end. Halfway, you heard him. Let's go. <sighs> Try to keep everything in line and engaged. So, shoulders back. Core tight. Knees out. Oh my God. Shake the legs. Come on, we can do this. Anyone's got earphones and I'm really sorry for shouting. <laughs> I'm trying to motivate myself as well as everyone else. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Ooh. Last one. And shake it off. Okay, we've got one more round of each. Are we ready? Last little bit of pain. Apart from the last round. Let's go. Well done. You're doing really, really well. If you're watching from the couch, get up and do it. Come on. Jumps. Explode up. Land those feet, weight in the heels. So you sideways on. My back's staying straight. I'm not punching around at any point. My core's engaged. Last seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my lord. Okay. Gonna get a little drink. Let me know how you're getting on. Are you sweating as much as me? Are your legs burning? Okay. 
Okay, I'm really getting out of breath here, so Ooh, sorry about that. Clearly my cardio has gone down a little bit since being in lockdown. Just checking up in the comments. <laughs> the burn. Okay, so when I catch my breath back, we're gonna go into the last round. Just gonna pick a song. Two more exercise, guys. We're gonna sweat out on the last one as much as we can. And then you can go, feel free to get on with your Easter, Easter? Easter weekend. Bloody hell. Okay. Right. Here we go with five. So, last exercises. You'll have seen these on our post if you've been keeping, um, following up with us. We're gonna go in and out squats, okay? So you're gonna jump in and out. When you jump out, you're gonna come down into a squat and in. You're just gonna bring those feet together and that's it. You should know squat farm by now. I've been going on about it the whole time. So don't really wanna go into that much further. Next one, squat and an abductor kick. So same thing, squat, heels it, weight in the heels. As you come up, you're gonna shift your weight onto one leg and you're gonna kick up like so, keeping that toe, paint that toe, that toe pointing forward, oh my God. And the inside of your foot facing down so that you can engage the abductor muscles, okay? So you should feel a nice little burn in the side of your glute. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna switch up every other round okay so we're gonna go right one round left one round and so on kyla says she doesn't mind me shouting in her headphones <laughs> right let's get cracking are we ready okay three actually no sorry the song counts as in in and out guys come on last round let's go three two one out and in Concentrate on your form. Just because you're tired, it's no excuse to have bad form. Good guys, last round of Tabata, and then we're done. Turn it up a little bit. We're gonna go into the abductor kick, so I'm gonna start with my right leg. Two, one, let's go. So squat and kick up. I'm gonna move over so you can see my kick. The weight shifts onto one leg. There we go, guys. Keep pushing through. Okay, back into those in and outs. And then we'll repeat on the other side. In and out. Come on, there's some energy now, guys. Don't say anything. We've got no more exercises. If you're gonna go and eat all those Easter eggs, you better work hard now. Three, two, one. Left leg for me now. So squat and a kick to the side. I'm gonna show you sideways on this time. Ah, are we ready? Three, two, Let's go. My weight is shifting every time I finish a squat. Comes back to centre and then I shift it over. Squeeze tight. Core engaged. Okay, we'll rest. In and out. If you want to take your mind off it, you can do a little circle as you do it. Three sixties. And then the other way. Let's keep going. A little bit more, guys. Half ten. Okay. Rest it there. Back to the right leg. Over halfway through. Three, two, one. Let's go. Kick it up. Really squeeze. The side of your glutes as you lift that leg. Make sure you get in that engagement. Mind muscle. If you have to go slower, go slower. Let's go. Last one. 
positive last one. So in and out, and then we've got the other leg. So last round of the Tabata for both exercises. Then try to do half circle hops now, guys. A bit harder. Switch to the front. Switch to the back. Front. Back. Front. Back. And then just in and out for the last reps. Three, two. There we go. Left leg. Last one. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze. If you keep your body upright, you're going to be working the side of your core as well, the obliques. And you might feel it in your waist tomorrow as well. Okay. Well done, guys. Get a drink. I'm going to stretch off. Oh. So, if you've stayed the whole time, please stay for the stretch. It's super important. Prevents injury, etc. Okay, I'm just going to put some music on for that. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to bring the heart rate down a little bit. So, really light jog. We're gonna slow it down every few seconds. Now we're walking through our heels each time, okay? Pointing the toes, stretching the calves a little bit. Okay, we're gonna roll those shoulders back. <laughs> Three, two, one, and we're going to bring them forwards. Three, two, one. Okay, you're going to stretch over. Nice big stretch. Keep that body facing forwards. Elongate the sides. Lengthen the arm. None of this. Okay, stretch the arm out. Okay, from there, we're going to fold down. I'm going to roll up through the spine, head comes up last, and we repeat to the other side. So take a big deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're gonna push that hip to the side, lengthen the sides, nice long arm, core pulled back. Oh my God, the salt is going into my eyes. And you're gonna roll down and roll up. Head is the last thing that comes up. Okay, we're gonna roll forwards. I'm gonna show you sideways on. So, big breath in. Exhale, roll down, and we're gonna stay down here. And we're just gonna stretch the hamstrings off. You can hug your elbows together. If you have the flexibility to do so, you can grab the back of your ankles and pull your body in. It's okay to round the back now, guys. Relax the head. Three, two, one. You're gonna bend those knees and you're gonna roll up. And from there, you're gonna take one leg back. A nice big stance. Show you, can you see? I'm gonna show you diagonally, okay? So, your knee is directly over. Your knee is directly over your ankle, okay? Not pushing forwards. If you need to stretch a little bit further, just push your other leg back to make sure that your knee isn't going over the toe. And from there, you're gonna to try to straighten up that leg and you should feel a nice stretch down the front of your right hip flexor. If this is easy, you can then bring the elbows to the floor if you like, or you can just stay here, however you prefer. But trying to make sure that back leg is nice and straight. From here, we're gonna open up the arm, the same arm as leg that's forward. You're gonna to try to create a nice long line on both arms, and if you can, you're gonna to look towards your hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can pop that knee down now. And from there, you're gonna straighten this leg. Start with a flat back. You're gonna take a nice, deep, a nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale, round that back over. Pull the toes back to stretch the calf out as well. And this should stretch down the back of your hamstring and your calf. <clears throat> if you want to feel a further stretch, you can sit right back onto that. 
and pull your body right in for five, four, three, two, and one. Switching over, other leg comes forward, knee on top of the ankle, like I said. That back knee pops up, you're gonna push, push uh, your, sorry, I can't talk, can't move my out. Push the weight back and, and elongate that leg. You should feel a nice stretch down your hip flexor, hands on the floor. <clears throat> and then from there, we're gonna open the arm in five, four, three, two, one. Open up the arm. Try to keep a nice long line from the floor up to the ceiling. If you can, if it's comfortable, look up towards the hand. For five, four, three, two. Now you can pop that back knee down. Flat back first. Inhale. Leg straight, as you exhale, you're gonna fold over, stretch off the calves and the hamstring. Make sure those toes are pulled back to feel it along the, the calf. And if this is easy, you can sit right back onto it and pull your body right in. For five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna finish off with two more stretches. Our lower body, and then we are pretty much done. So we're gonna go into a pigeon stretch from here. Front leg, can you see me? I don't know. <laughs> Trying to keep a 90 degree angle from the knee. You're gonna pop your weight in the center, okay? It's really easy to just shift your weight off the side, but to really feel that stretch, you're gonna sit on the center, and then from there, you can hold it here if you like, but if this is easy, you're gonna lower your chest to the ground, walk those hands forwards until you feel a nice stretch in the glutes. Now I know it's hard, but you're trying to keep that foot forward. Mine really shifts back. It just doesn't happen so well, so good for me. But that's what we're aiming for. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch round, other leg comes forward. Think of that angle. Then you're gonna prop your weight in the center, not on the side, you can easily sit on your glute in the center. Walk those hands forwards and just try to relax the muscles. Every time you stretch, should be taking big deep breaths, exhaling and thinking, imagine the, imagining the muscle lengthening. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna stand up and we're just gonna stretch the quads quickly. So if you need to balance, grab something to balance on. Take the foot by the shoelaces, push the knees together, hips forward. <clears throat> So a lot of people tend to do this, you don't get a good stretch here, you're trying to bring those knees together, push those hips forwards and you should feel a nice stretch all whilst pulling that foot back. Three, two, one, same again, grab by the shoelaces, knees together, pulling the foot back and resisting and pushing the hips forwards. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, thank you so, so much. I hope you're all as sweaty as me and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a really, really nice Easter. And it's the last chance to buy our um, raffle tickets because we will be announcing the winner in a couple of days. So if you've not bought your raffle ticket yet, please get in touch with us if you want some. It's only five euros. You get a full workout plan with it and the chance to win some home training equipment. So have a good Easter. Thank you. Bye.